Okay, we're back, and we're trying to do the eyes here, and what I want to do is give you a close-up here. I split one of the eyes, and I'll show you how I did that on the second one, but it's easier for me to try it out and then show you, because this one we're kind of winging. We had to abort the original plan, so. What we did was we made those eye mounds, and then I ran a cylinder bit across it, okay? And I'll show you how we're going to finish the rest of that eye afterwards, but right here, this is the other one. See, we got a nice little ball we formed. So all I did was I made a nice big ball inside the socket there. A round ball. And I'm going to run that across. In the middle, about midway, with a cylinder bit in my Dremel. Alright, a little tiny cylinder bit. That's what it looks like. And I'll show you that. Hopefully you can see here. All I'm going to do is run it across about midway. Cutting with the edge. Now he's got two eyelids. That's with the rest of them. We could try and get some uh, eyeballs with the gouge and those little spots that we have left. So let's take a gouge and see here. I can come up with a. I'm going to use a mini gouge on this. Now you could use a Dremel with a drill, a little. tool. You could use a little uh, bit that makes holes. Looking for... Hang on, let me put this down for a sec. I'm going to find the right one here. But we're looking for a little gouge or something we can put those eye holes in with. A little pupil. And what I'm going to use is a mini gouge. All right, it's got a rounded end. All right, just enough to get a little hole in there. Hopefully, it'll push through this hard pine knot. So, see if I can get in the camera here and get up close, and I'll show you. I'm just gonna push it in. Enough to make a hole. Not really working on this pine knot, it's more or less breaking it. But you get the idea of what I'm trying to do anyway. Probably would have worked a little bit better if I done it did it with the uh a drill bit. But you can see he's got a bit of an eye hole there now. He's got one there, and I could have rounded those off. I actually should have, so I might take my knife and do that. It's just hard to do this for the camera and not play with it over and over, which is what I would do. I'm going to take a little bit, change it, and then make those holes with a, a drill bit, I think, instead of the gouge. I'll clean them up. Now, you can use either or, but you might want to round that bottom one, too, after making the lid. Round that lid up into it. And you're going to have to shape your eyes after we do it. I just don't want to do it all on camera. It's very hard. If I got my knife and I started doing this, you wouldn't see what I was doing. So, right now we're just going to do that. But you can get the idea of what he's starting to look like. And I'll come back and we'll do teeth. And pick those ears out. When I come back. Okay. See you in the next vid.